I'm Tanya Cody and this is my cat Mishka and today we're going to be showing you how to give fluids uh, subcutaneously to a cat. So first we're going to talk about the fluid setup that you're going to go home with. You're going to have a bag of sterile fluids and these are the same fluids that are given IV. There's also going to be a sterile line attached to the fluid bag and you're going to go home with multiple needles. Uh, when we send these bags home, we do already attach the line for you. Before giving the fluids, you do want to make sure that there's no large air bubbles in the line. And when you're giving the fluids, you want to make sure that you're replacing the needle every time. Uh, used needles dull very quickly, and there's also the risk of you introducing an infection if you use um, an old, already used needle. When you're giving the fluids, you want to make sure that you have the bag hung up. Here we have a nice uh, setup where we can hang the fluid bags up. At home, um, you still want gravity to be on your side, so you do want to hang the bag up. Something that you can do is put the bag onto a hanger and then hang that up somewhere so that it's above where you're giving the fluids to your cat. For getting your kitty to sit still for the fluids, uh, you can do something like giving them some food so that they're distracted, have someone help you hold them still, or use a towel to wrap them up a little bit so that way they're not wandering around while you're trying to give them the fluids. And when you give the fluids, you can see on the fluid line that there's multiple locks to stop the fluids from going out, so you want to make sure that you have those open. And then for giving the actual fluids, you want to tent the skin right here in between the shoulder blades because they have a lot of loose skin there to take the extra fluids. And then you want to go uh, put the needle in into that tent. And sometimes when you're first starting out, it helps to have a little patch shave so that way you can see better what you're doing and where you're giving the fluids. And then as you get comfortable, you don't need that little patch of fur shaved. And then with the clamps on the line, um, the one that has the roller on it, if you roll that up, the fluid should start flowing. And to see whether or not the fluids are flowing and if they're going fast enough, you wanna look up here at the drip chamber. So it should be a nice steady stream coming out. If it's not moving at all or if it's just dripping slowly, um, you wanna make sure that you don't have the line clamped off somewhere else or see if you need to move the bag further up. Um, so that way it's going at a nice steady pace and you're not sitting here forever giving fluids. And then this is how you check how much fluids are being given. So the bag has lines and numbers on it. So the one means that you've given 100 mils of fluids, two is 200. So you want to double check before you start giving fluids how much is in the bag and how much you want to give. And then after you're done giving the fluids, make sure that you hold, pinch where you're taking the needle out. A little bit of fluid and a little bit of blood might leak out, but that's fine. 